Hey you guys, um, I haven't really been doing anything and I recently kind of wanted to do a customization of my new doll, my f uh, Fable Thorn doll and um, but I really liked her the way she was so all I did was basically um, fixed up her accessories and here, kind of put these a little bit closer so I'm going to zoom in here. So basically you can see that the wrist, her, her wrist gauntlet thing on one hand looks um, like her accessories just weren't that detailed and I like my dolls with a little more detail. So it was easy enough for me to just kind of dry brush it and add a little more to it. And then I kind of did the same thing with the boots. Um, there we go. As you can see, they're basically pretty much plain other than the laces. So I did that the top part right here. Did the top part and then see there. I did the um bottom of her boot. And then I also did her purse, which I'll grab the other purse. And I also did the purse, along with her little um, necklace that the wings are attached. But um, this was so fun, I actually did it to a few of my other dolls, and then my mom. <coughs> yeah, let me let me zoom back out here. Um, I did this to a few of my other dolls, and then my mom saw my fair, uh, whatever her name is, um, saw this doll that I had, and uh, saw that I customized her. She wanted me to customize hers because she she we got the dolls at the same time. She liked them so much. She liked this one so much that uh, she got her, and then I like she knew I liked the liked it too. So she got me one. So, and I customized mine and she wanted hers customized too. Although I'm not going to do her base, but you can do the base if you want. But I just thought it would be fun to show you guys kind of how to go about it. If you don't like want to fully customize your doll, this is a, how, a good way to put like a little more detail in there. Hey guys, okay I'm back. I kind of fixed the camera angle, so hopefully um, you guys can see things better. Um, basically, this is the one that I did for my Fabel Thorn, and um, let's see if I can get a closer look at the. So basically, I just painted the heel silver, and painted like the thorns and the the sole black. And then I kind of did the same thing to the top here, where I dry brushed the silver on top so it kind of gave a metallic black kind of look. And her colors are more like tur like this color, turquoise and silver and black, so that's the colors I stuck with. But um, you can always change colors to any type of... Um, like if you want to change your doll's colors, like their theme colors, you can do this. You can just paint over those colors. And then here is the original cuff right here. And then this is what the one I did for mine. So I'm going to basically do the same thing I did to this on this one. And it's very easy to do it. Um, let me clean out my brush here. And um, what you're going to need is uh, just some paint. I'm going to just use some black and just a paper towel. Because um, when you... Um, this is more not dry brushing, but um, I guess you can call it antiquing in a way. But uh, yeah, so you just take your paint. And what I usually do is I just slather the paint on. 
just like that. Here, I'm going to zoom in a little bit more for you guys. And I can't find the camera. Okay. And um, it doesn't really matter if it dries a little bit because it, um, the paint will rub off until you put like a sealer on it and stuff like that. So um, you kind of want to be careful of, of how much uh, you rub off if you don't want to rub off a whole lot. Come on, focus camera. There we go. So you're just going to do that. Take your paper towel and just wipe it off. And you can also take, if, it, if it's not coming off as much as you like, you can always take water and that will take off a lot more. And oops. Because I got paint on that other one. Okay. And if you ever make mistakes, um, you can take either nail polish remover or um, what is it? Uh, acetone, which is what I use. I just use acetone um, to take the paint off the accessories. Now I don't know about using acetone on the body of a doll. I mean, I've used it on the face of a doll. So. Um, yeah, because the acetone could be strong enough that it could melt the bo doll's body. So I've heard a few stories that people have used acetone on their doll's body and it's not been good. So I wouldn't recommend doing that, but you can, I've, I have used it like on the shoe. And why is this not focusing? Come on. And then um, I have used it like on the shoe and stuff like that. And then on the doll's faces. So that's pretty much how you get this to look like this and um, to, do, to add just a smidge bit of color um, all I pretty much did was just paint on the color I, like I just painted on the turquoise and then if it was too strong I just wiped a little bit of it off like how I did on there like how yeah and you pretty much do the same thing with like the shoe Zoom out. There we go. So that's pretty much how I did. I did. I went about the shoe, but um, actually went more into sections with the shoe. Let me finish this real quick. So I'm just gonna take the turquoise, put it where I want it. So you can leave it like that, like they're fresh, shiny jewels in her bracelet. And I think that's how I'm going to leave that one. And you don't have to go about this. Like, I mean, like I said, you can just completely paint this a totally different color if you really wanted to. And then for the shoe, I pretty much just painted the whole thing black and you want to be careful not to get it to paint anywhere else because it is kind of a pain to get off if you make a mistake so yeah and I'm just gonna do a section real quick so that way you guys can see cuz I'm not gonna sit here like I see <laughs> I just accidentally cuz I'm in a rush got paint on the actual boot so you just want to be a little more careful I can clean that up easy but if you haven't done it before it's kind of a pain so I basically painted the top part um, black and then I took my silver while that was drying see this is what I like about acrylics because I'm using acrylics by the way is you can totally just um, they, they dry so fast that um, while you're working on one thing, the other part can dry. So by the time you're done working on that one thing, the whole thing is dry. So. And with these metallic paints, they actually go on a little thin, especially when you first put it on plastic. It will take about two coats, at least, 
at the very least two coats, but I think I put three coats on the one that is the, on mine. So. And then, like, for these thorns, um, I, I thought about dry brushing them, but I decided just to paint them. So you can definitely just dry brush the thorns on. So pretty much after one coat of um, paint, kind of how the thorns look. And I'll show you how to how to dry brush. <coughs> Top isn't dry yet. And then this bottom part looked pretty much the same as this same type of pattern as the top so what I did was just paint it black as well and and then I just basically did the same thing I'm gonna just dry brush silver over top of it to give it a metallic look okay now, to dry brush, all you're going to do is take the color that you want to dry brush. And uh, for this, I'm just doing... <clears throat> I'm just doing silver. So you just load your... Like, put a bunch of paint on your brush. And then just kind of dab. Or brush it, a lot of it off. Like, you still want paint on your brush. And then you're just going to lightly go over the area so shiny not shiny shiny not shiny that's pretty much all I did just to make her boots a little more fancy and I haven't done the thorns yet but Kind of did the bottom of the boot, give it a little bit of shine, and kind of match the top. So, um, so like if you want to get rid of a mistake like this, you know how I said um, you can use acetone or nail polish remover. Well, this is the acetone I use. Um, it's a pretty cheap brand. Um, it's what is it? only professional and it's maximum strength um, acetone so it's 100 percent and um, I recommend just either like wearing gloves when you first do this because it is it's not good for your skin <laughs> let's just say that and I'll zoom back in. I want to be a little careful when doing this so you just put a little bit on your brush And just you can also do this with a q tip there we go mistake gone so as you can see it is no longer there so yep. okay uh, I'll finish this up and then I'll show you what it looks like. I forgot to tell you guys, um, you, to prevent it from like scratching or ever uh, peeling off or anything like that, uh, I would make sure to seal it. Now I have, for like the stuff that I want to stay more like matte and not glossy, um, what I, I just got this for a dollar at Target. It is the matte finish Mod Podge. And, uh, I think I used it on these shoes. Yeah, it's what I used on the top here. So it just, it has a small bit of gloss on it. It's more, kind of like a satin, almost. But if you can tell, it's, 
it still keeps its less, um, it's not more, it's not like a gloss, really. Like I said, it gives a little bit of a gloss, but not totally. Okay, um, I just brought in some other dolls that I actually kind of did this to. Um, more on cedar, less on, um, what's her face, Raven? Because her neck piece, like I'll show you. Like the neck piece on her was pretty much already antiqued. So is her uh, belt. Um, I still gotta do her um, her little bracelet right there. But I did her shoes. Now as you it, it, don't know how to zoom. As you can see, I did her heel in a purple and dry brushed it in a lighter purple. And then just kind of did like how I did um, the bracelet on um, Faybell. I think that's I think that's her name. Hey, that thorn. Um, and that's pretty much all I, I've done on her so far. Um, just because she already came pretty detailed. And then I got Cedar right here. And um, her boots were all this um, regular brown color right here. And uh, so I kind of spruced them up with just a lighter brown. And then like a leathery red. So I pretty much did her heels in the red. And then all the straps and the patch on her heel are that lighter brown. And then her chain I dry brushed along with her bracelet. I did do her bracelet. I need to do her ring. Um, the straps on her belt. And then the leaf on her chain. I, I, uh, I didn't want to do it in green just because there was no green on her outfit. And I didn't think it would look good so I did red. And, um, I still need to do the, the thing that keeps her hood on. And then this is, of course, Faybell. Let me get her purse out of the way. So, pretty much these are the shoes that you just saw me do. Excuse me. And, uh, I'm just using my doll just because... It's faster and easier just to use mine. But, uh, I showed you completely how I did, like, her shoes and at least her bracelet. Um, if you see here, I did her necklace. Um, I didn't, I was thinking about doing her rings, but I thought her wings were really pretty just the way they were. So, I really didn't do that. And I still want to do her headband a little bit, add a little silver up there. And then I need to do her earrings. But other, but um, if you want to like make your doll look a little bit better and um, put a little more detail in there, if they don't already come like that, because Raven really did come with pretty much a lot of detail on her accessories already. So um, I just wanted her shoes to have a little more detail, and I still need to do her bracelet. But <clears throat> like if you see, her bracelet actually does have like a bit of purple and stuff on it. So, um, so it's not like she totally didn't come with detail on her, it's just her shoes just were just one color. So, yeah, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next video. Bye!